Hello everyone. So today I'm here to prepare a new recipe for my kitties. So for that I'm going to boil the water first and later on I'll show you the ingredients one by one. So this is what I'm going to use. That is one potato and I have taken few sardines. Sardines are actually good for kitty's health. So I have cleaned it and already kept it. So that now I will just give it one more wash before I add it to the food. So, so now I will just cut the potatoes first. So I have peeled the potatoes. Uh, one small potato, very small potato and I have cut it into cubes, into four so and now I have put it for boiling so I have added the potatoes here to the water and I will wait for it to get cooked so I will just check if the potatoes are done so I think it will take more two three minutes of time So I'll just leave it. And I'll just check it once again. I think they are done. So I'll just remove it and let it cool. Now I'm going to add the fish. And you know fish cook is, cooks fast. So I'll just make sure that you don't overcook it. So I have added all the three pieces. And I'll let it cook. Now I've taken sardines. I mostly prefer sardines because sardines is rich in omega-3 fatty acids and this is really good for your cat's health. So I prefer this and apart from this the other uh, fish which I prefer for them is mackerels or bangra. So these two are my fish choices for them. But it is not that I have restricted them to these two only. I keep feeding them whichever fish we get in the house. But yes, mainly if I am preparing something specially for them, I try using these two variety of fishes. So I will just wait. And the other benefit is like sardines have soft bones, which means that if the cat eat this uh, soft bones of the sardines and all, it's no harm. So it is a good thing, so both ways. But anyways, if you are giving your cat fish or chicken, make sure that you remove the bones which they cannot chew or the bones which might create some trouble for them later on. Okay, so make sure that you remove the bones always. So I'm just boiling the fish. And let's wait for another, I think one minute or two and the fish will be done. So once the fish is cooked, I have removed it and I have discarded the water. I am not going to use this water because my cats don't like it. So I will not be using this water. I will be just using, so you can see like whatever this water might. If your cat loves it, you can give it. But my cat doesn't like it, so I am not going to use it. So now I will just remove the flesh of the fish from the bones. I will just separate it. So you can see like this being a very delicate fish, it is not easy to separate the bones. And it's too hot also. So I'll just separate it. So I've removed the bones from the fish. And this is how it looks. I have kept the bowls also ready here. So I'll just mash it out. So 
so that it's the fish and the potato is combined well so this is just a one time food for them as per the quantity because as you know i have two cats that is kiwi and mishti so for both of them this is just a one time and not much but yet this is just to make sure that yes they are eating a good meal and set we have mashed it properly so here this is what i have served it on the bowls and let's see how it goes with them so here the meal is served and you can see her eating whereas she has not yet started eating because yes she is not very hungry she just had something some time back and she is i'll say she eats very little so i'll give her some more time my kitty is really enjoying it she has loved it to the core so you can see here and this is what i call an amazing food when your kitty just finishes it like this and one more thing you will be thinking that why i have not fed this cat so you should not do that because sometimes if you just make them eat something which they are not willing to they will puke it out and cause you and always try to know their appetite okay like she i know her appetite is very less and uh, she is also an adult cat 5 years of age so obviously as cats age their appetite may decrease but for her i have seen that uh, yes uh, her appetite has decreased and she is not a fish lover much she is a chicken lover okay so but i will give her once it is her proper time to eat which will be much later in the day and then i will be showing you that also yeah but never force feed them okay let them give their own time to have it so that's it